Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War movie Cull Obsidian Builder Figure Wave Black Knight figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many made the I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about you. Stay buying figs. Don't Six figures in a wave, you're going to need all six figures to complete the Cole Obsidian Builder figure. Alright, so I have Black Knight out of the package, and this is one of only two comic-based characters in this wave. The first was Malekith, which I reviewed right before this guy. So if you haven't checked that out, you should go back and check that out first. But now we have Black Knight. There were four uh, movie-based characters in this wave. Two from the Avengers Infinity War movie and two from the upcoming Ant-Man and Wasp movie. This figure is probably the one I was looking forward to the most out of this wave, being that I had already had Malekith from the Battle for Asgard SDCC 2017 set. Uh, we were long overdue for a new Black Knight figure because the first one we got from Hasbro is just awful. Uh, if I still have it, I'll break it out towards the end of this for a comparison. And uh, so, you know, I was really looking forward to this guy. And I must say I'm a little underwhelmed by, by this figure. And I think this buck is probably coming to the end of its of, of its run. I would have liked to see them actually put this guy on the same buck that they use for Malekith, maybe. Uh, maybe that uh, Captain America slash Grim Reaper uh, mold. Uh, but they use the uh, classic Bucky Cap mold here. And I'm sure you guys can see some reused parts. Pretty much uh, the same sort of uh, textured uh, costume that they use for Green Goblin and for Dread Knight. Uh, so that's pretty much what you got here. You know Hasbro's definitely going to capitalize on every single part and uh, and really try to make their money and, and stretch every single buck. His bio reads, An expert horseman and superior swordsman, Black Knight has a checkered history as a powerful combatant with no clear allegiances. Black Knight is packed in with the right leg to complete the Cole Obsidian Builder figure. And he's also packed in with his uh, Enchanted Sword, which is the Ebony Blade. And uh, nothing really to write home about as far as this is concerned. It's got the Black Blade. Not much detail, but it looks okay. There you go. You know, his grip is not as firm with the, with the right hand. So, you might have to... Uh, Finagle something and, and get his uh, his grip a little tighter with a little hot water, cold water. And uh, let's see how it fits in the uh, in the left hand. There he is actually holding the uh, sword with both hands, but definitely a more firm grip with the left hand. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. And his sword can be sheathed there, so this is also the same sort of basic design as Baron Zemo. Looks like they borrowed the little skirt part and the belt. It's probably about the same. So yeah, again, you know, this Bucky Cat mold has gotten a lot of burn. Uh, and it's uh, it's about time for them to retire it, like I mentioned. And just taking a closer look at this head sculpt before I swap on another accessory. It should be noted that uh, this uh, cape is another separate part, too. It came detached in the package and you had to put it on but yeah looking at this head sculpt it's uh it's okay i'm feeling like this is probably something that we've received before and they just put the mask over it and this helmet is not removable by the way and there's a look at the ball peg so i'll probably have some pictures popping up here but um i'm kind of uh freestyling this right now but i'm pretty certain that these other head sculpts that come in the package don't really match this particular outfit though this is a more classic look for the character, uh, but this helmet w wouldn't go with this outfit. I should, Like I said, I should have some pictures showing up. So the pictures are either prove me wrong or prove me right. We'll see, but uh, this one looks pretty cool. I do like it, though. I, I definitely do like this, uh, this particular design, but again, I don't know if it matches this costume. And he also comes with this version without the wings on the helmet, and he's kind of gritting his teeth a bit. I feel like this version is a more modern take and he was kind of wearing this when he wasn't wearing like the full knight costume. I feel like I remember this from uh in particular from when he was uh when the scroll invasion was happening. I feel like he was rocking a more modern outfit. Either way, I do appreciate them including all of those uh the different head sculpts, but that is sort of like a trend 
uh, with Marvel Legends that uh, they've been giving us additional head sculpts that don't match the actual uh, costume that that they have on the figure. You know, they've done that with uh, Electro and uh, quite a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head. But anyway, Bucky Cat mold. Uh, you should know the articulation here. Head is on a ball joint. Going to look down. Going to look up pretty far left to right. The head is actually a little loose. It'll pivot to all of that good stuff. Now, this is where I have an issue. For whatever reason, on this particular figure, the shoulders are like fused and they're not really moving up. I might have to heat this up. Uh, I didn't really heat it up, but uh, the shoulders are supposed to go up pretty far. Uh, they can do a full 360 right now. Upper bicep swivel. There is a double jointed elbow, but it's hindered a bit by the glove. You get a swivel and a hinge on the wrist. Decent ab crunch going forward and back. Waist swivel. T joint here at the pelvis. Legs will come up that far. They'll go out that far. You get an upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee, rotation at the boot, a hinge, and a nice pivot on the foot. I'm concerned about these shoulders though. I'm wondering if it's just my particular figure or if this is going to be a problem across the board but they are not working how i'd like them to at the moment and a few quick size comparisons on the left we have classic captain america i forget which wave this guy is from let me know in the comments but um i wanted to break him out because black knight is absolutely part uh was part of a classic avengers team a picture should be popping up here in a second uh that we are close to completing Although we do need some do-overs on some of those figures. And on the right we have his wave mate here, Thor from Avengers Infinity War. I want to break out Thor again because I can try to do some head swaps with some with a couple other Thors I have here. I think somebody had asked about that. And he has bro Marvel Legends Black Panther on the left. And right next to him, Toy Biz Giant Man Series Thor, who we need. Uh, do over on we definitely need this classic look for Thor we need need Hasbro to update a nice classic look for Thor with great articulation so hopefully they'll get around to that and uh, on Black Knight's immediate right we've got Yellow Jacket that was a Hasbro figure I believe from maybe the Annihilus Builder figure wave let me know where Black Panther was from too I forgot and uh, yeah so again some more of those teammates from that picture I showed and random, but I forgot to do this in the uh, Thor review, some head swaps, but this is the uh, the body from the Battle for Asgard box set. And the head is just a little bit small, but it looks, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and slings, there you go. That's the uh, Return of Marvel Legends Thor head on this body. Too big for sure. And that's pretty much it. I'm getting out of here. I had this horse around and I wanted to remember to talk about this. It would be dope if uh, Hasbro continued with this sort of new age legendary rider series and uh, step outside of the box and give us a horse for Black Knight here. It was mentioned in his bio that he's an <laughs> expert horseman and he rides a horse, a winged horse too, sort of similar to uh, Valkyrie. So if Hasbro really, really wanted to do something and go snatch up these old Toy Biz molds from the Lord of the Rings here. That's what this, this horse is from the Lord of the Rings, the Toy Biz Lord of the Rings line. So, uh, you know, they could do that. Uh, there have been rumors about them doing <laughs> Professor X and his hover chair for that series. Obviously, we've already gotten Ghost Rider and, and Black Widow, and we have Wolverine coming up with his chopper. So, you know, if they really wanted to think outside the box or step outside the box, this would be pretty cool. So if you're watching Hasbro, there you go. There's another idea for another rider. And uh, yeah, so not bad. Again, figure didn't really live up to my expectations. I wish they would actually put him on a different buck. Uh, I had originally said the that same buck as Captain America, but maybe the uh, bullseye buck would have been better. Something with more articulation. Any swordsman, I want to see them have as much articulation as possible. Utilize the butterfly joint, all of that good stuff. So, you know, definitely a character that we need it done over. But I don't know if this is <laughs> if this is the one we deserve. All right, but you need this guy if you want to complete the Call of City and build a figure. And that's pretty much it. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.